You've come from multi years and literally eons of an experience of singularity. And this now starts to change. The exercises of today, the, the joy, the humor, the ahas, epiphanies, the knowledge, the potentials, possibilities, all of these are about opening what we will call a three-dimensional bubble of awareness. For those of you in the room who have been around on this planet half a century or more, you think about it. You have lived in a certain paradigm of existence. And you might have called yourselves new age, you might have called yourselves metaphysical, esoteric. But the paradigm was the same, and that is you live and breathe and work in three or four dimensions. Depending upon how you describe your reality, you're still only in three or four dimensions. And you strive, perhaps, to involve intuition. And some of you do. You might be a healer, a medical intuitive, a reader, or any of those which broaches a multi-dimensional perception. But at the end of the day, you retreat into your three or four dimensional bubble. And this has been the survival of all of you. You are not yet multidimensional. But right now you are on the precipice of multidimensional expansion in so many ways. The science of your planet is just one. The biggest one is consciousness. So let me shatter a paradigm of where you think you might be going. Humanity wants to believe it's getting better within the paradigm that exists now, within the rules that exist now, within, the, within that which is your physics, which exists now, and it can't. You've gone as far as you can go. And now you're going to break out. You break out of one dimensionality, not into another. And that is a fallacy we have talked about before. You don't go to five simply because you're in four. The breakout is from four to all. That is why this particular shattering of a paradigm of being in a 3D bubble is so magnificent. For you're going to broach becoming multi-dimensional. And as that occurs, it starts to push away the bubble that you have and it's uncomfortable. Because now we are asking you, asking you to think beyond the limitations you think you are. I want to tell you what's going on that's going to make you uncomfortable. Old souls are starting to change the parameters and attributes of their 3D bubble. Now this is not going to make sense. Because we speak in metaphors, it's all we have. It honestly is all we have. If we gave you the hard physics of it, the metaphysics of it, it would make less sense than what follows. Picture all of you surrounded by some kind of bubble that is your dimensionality. And now you are about to broach it, expand it, and include to some degree multidimensionality. One of two things is going to happen to you. You're either going to be able to do it or you're not. <laughs> now I want you to think about that. And here's the thing that I want to tell you. It's not going to stay the same. It can't. Because the energy of all that is around you, including the grid system that we have put in place, 
is beginning to shift and allow a different kind of conscious physics. And what that does to your three-dimensional bubble of awareness is one of two things. It either is going to become semi-permeable, which, which you should see as holes in your bubble that allow multidimensional thought going in both directions, or if you close in your consciousness that is a life force that does something to your bubble, it's going to make it into a mirror. And if that's what you're going to do, it's going to be uncomfortable because it's going to start flashing back at you whatever you give to it. Doubt. Fear. I cannot. Victimization. All of the things that you've been fighting, if you do not break out of this, and you don't do it within the next few years, it's going to start cementing itself into a mirror. Now, this is not a punishment. This is what we're talking about. The energy around you is changing. And you're either going to change with it or you're not. But if you don't, it's going to get worse. Now, that's your decision. <clears throat> and it's not just you. It's going to happen to humanity. You're going to be those, you're going to see those that change and those that don't. And it's going to be so apparent of those who are trapped in their bubbles. And everything they put out is going to bounce back at them and it's going to make it worse. Now this is the first time we ever broached this because we wanted the family to hear it here. Does this make any sense to you? That what is around you must change first. This is why the grid shifted. Do you know that, dear ones? 